Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So today I just wanted to have a look at the Resurrection Remix ROM for the HEC1 M8. Uh, and that's a Lollipop ROM running the latest Android 5.0.2. Uh, the version I'm using is 5.2.8 in terms of the ROM. Uh, and it's quite a new ROM as well actually, it was uh, released uh, late December so uh, I've noticed there's quite a few ROMs for the M8 and wanted to give this one a try so uh, overall I'd say I'm quite uh, impressed with the build of the ROM uh, as you can see it's quite a, a stock experience with uh, the sense overlay uh, removed uh, you do get uh, pretty much uh, a very uh, minimal implementation of Lollipop as well. I have flashed on uh, these uh, Google apps separately. So I think the ROM size is about 250 meg. Uh, so it's very slim down and uh, slick, uh, which only just uh, increases even more the speed of the device. So in regards to the uh, Lollipop implementation, it's quite familiar with your drop down menu. Uh, all these buttons seem to be working quite well uh, and uh, swipe to the left uh, you get access to this excellent uh, gestures menu so uh, you can set up different gestures that go into different aspects of the settings so if you want to go into your battery settings I can just do that and it will go into my uh, battery settings and you can control that actually through the uh, resurrection tools so if you go to miscellaneous gesture and then gestures you can add new gestures to your heart's content and link them to different uh, activities which is quite cool it gives you kind of like a galaxy note experience or galaxy note light uh, and within the settings you do get uh, the ability to set different toast animations so there is some customizability there as you can see and uh, you can also put on different stuff on the status bar as you can see I've got a network indicator on there as well as the uh, battery percentage uh, and that's all accessible from this screen at the bottom so it's quite cool and uh, lock screen you can put different uh, shortcuts on there I've put a Bluetooth shortcut on there as you can see a little cog uh, which goes directly into the Bluetooth and uh, also some clock widgets you can put on there you can also uh, customize the profile of the device whether you want it on power saving mode which dims the device and uh, obviously limits the background data or you can put on performance for intensive uh, applications we'll leave it on performance for now just to see uh, if it does make a big difference in terms of the uh, speed of the device uh, but uh, other than that you get uh, pretty much uh, what you'd expect on other lollipop ROMs uh, such as your adaptive brightness uh, which you can turn on and off as well as uh, the uh, double tap gestures which do come with the stock 1M8 uh, ROM so that's all there, you haven't took that away and uh, so it's all very uh, nice in regards to the features uh, and you do get the users as well so you can switch to a different user and that seems to be working fine and we can go back to me Google now seems to be working good as well uh, there is one th issue with the ROM though which uh, hopefully they will uh, fix on a future uh, version of it in that when you do swipe to the left to get to your gestures uh, sometimes you want to be going into the Google now or if you're in the camera uh, you want to be getting the settings up and instead you'll hit the gestures screen so it'd be nice if they put the gestures down here to swipe down here or something uh, but for now you just have to kind of uh, really uh, put your f finger on it to get to the Google now uh, but when it does uh, come up as you can see very uh, nice and gives you all the information you need and uh, OK Google 
works from the home screen so you can uh, say things straight away which is quite cool uh, in terms of the lock screen you get all your notifications coming up there which is quite nice as well as quick access to the dialer uh, such as like that and uh, also quick access to the camera camera seems to be working fine it is the stock Google app so we'll just do a quick uh, picture but then again when you swipe to the left you might hit the gestures as I've said before so just make sure I find doing it at the top tends to avoid that uh, and uh, you can see you can do your panorama, photo spear, etc. And the video seems to be working fine as well. So no issues there. Uh, uh, the only bug that I have found so far in regards to the ROM is the equalizer options uh, which I was quite happy to see equalizer options on this device because uh, I don't think HTC historically have given you much control over the equalizer options of its devices so you can get into the equalizer options here as you can see to customize your sound but I found that they don't actually work at the moment unfortunately so I was a bit gutted about that so if we just show you no effect whatsoever so uh, hopefully they will uh, get that fixed because it is really nice to have an equalizer on your device to customize your sound uh, in terms of the actual software build it's uh, 5.0.2 so it's the latest in terms of that which is quite uh, nice and we do like the latest software and I have been uh, giving this a go again and I have to say I'm getting better at it I am getting better at it but still it causes me a lot of frustration uh, but other than that, the uh, ROM is very fast and uh, smooth. So as you can see, going into stuff, a buttery affair. And that extends to your uh, multitasking. Very nice indeed. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I think uh, this is definitely worthwhile checking out if you were thinking of upgrading from this device, which is still uh, very awesome. Oh yeah, also, uh, as I just press the power button, you can set different uh, profiles from that quite quickly. Useful if you want to quickly uh, go into a profile, which you can set in the settings. Uh, so... Uh, very uh, useful for if you want the device to be silent at certain times but yeah you know if you're thinking of uh, upgrading to the upcoming HEC One M9 uh, then this uh, may be able to extend the life of the device a bit more save you some money uh, you can get on your device using the Hassan 2000 tool uh, as well as the ROM which uh, I'll leave links in the description probably not going to do a dedicated video because it is quite uh, easy to use the Hassan 2000 tool uh, but if you have any questions in regards to how to get on your device then just leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you so yeah I uh, hope you found this video informative if you're looking at this ROM and uh, please thumbs it up or subscribe and I will see you very shortly cheers